Welcome home, Bitcoin truth seekers. Bitcoin, what's going on in Bitcoin and the market today? Let's check it out. All right, so a red doji today. It's day is still young, but we are looking at a red candle. But if we do note, at least from what we can tell from a very, very short time frame, uh, looking at the daily, maybe we are starting to see a slight, of an, a slight upward trend. We're definitely not still dumping. And it's nice that yesterday closed on a green candle. The MACD is just hanging in there positive. If we can get this histogram to open up, if we can get this turning positive, that would be great. The blue line is the MACD and the red line is the signal. When the blue line is below the signal, bad when it's above, good. So that dump we had, we definitely started to close in on a negative cross, but we have not done it. Let's say which. Let's see which way this goes. A lot of swing traders on the daily do watch the MACD. So if that does get close to turning negative, definitely something to note. Not a bad trading view alert to have. All right, let's look at the big picture. Green and red in the market. Bitcoin up 0.11% last 24 hours. XRP up almost a percent last 24 hours. EOS, oh, it's in the gray. It's struggling with being positive or negative. BS Vision is up almost 5% right now. So in general, a mix of green and the red. No big players that I'm really seeing, but it does look more positive than negative, at least a mix. It's kind of like when someone asks you, how are you doing? And you say, fine, which always means not really great, but you're not going to drop off a cliff either. And you have hope for a better future. All right. Now, looking at the uh, volume last 24 hours, uh, it is 761 million, under a billion. So it's not a huge day so far for trading. Most of it's happening on Binance as usual. And then, of course, Coinbase is the next one. Kraken which is now becoming a bank, I guess, and opening up some more financial services. Looks like it's going to be the number uh, three player in the market ongoing. We shall see if it holds out. Let's look at blockchain whispers. Where's the longs and shorts happening? I only really look at Binance because that's where the volume is. Longs, 32%. Shorts, 67%. The market sentiment is still short. Looking at the uh, S&P 500 and Russell uh, 2000, so far today, we have a red candle for both, and the MACDs are still negative. So we are looking at, as we could see, really the same thing that uh, Bitcoin was doing on the daily. Maybe we're seeing a bit of an uptrend, even though today is a red doji still. Um, kind of seeing the same pattern here. Maybe we can see a, uh, a, uh, a positive direction. I'm sorry about that. A positive direction happening. Come on now. Sorry about, sorry about the delay here. Oh, wait. Wrong thing. Maybe we are seeing a positive direction form, but we'll have to give it a little time for that to pan out. So Red Doge so far today on the S&P and the Russell 2000. Day is still young. Would have, would have liked to see that open with a green candle and start rocking up, but that's not the case. At least both are, both are above the 200 moving average. And the MACDs are, well, okay, for the S&P 5000, MACD kind of sucks. And the same thing for the Russell 2000. So we definitely need some upward momentum to get these guys happy. But at least, like I said, on the daily, they're above the 200 moving average. That's a good thing, even though they got some dump to recover from. Looking at gold and silver. Gold dumping today, silver dumping today. There's no maybe, there's no slight indecisive doji. Both gold and silver are dumping today, but at least the Russell 2000 and the S&P are not dumping as bad. All right. DXY, Dollar Strength Index. Yes, it is doing really, really well. I tell you what, if it can climb the percent that it needs, let's measure this. If it can climb the uh, percent that it would need to uh, get back above the 200 moving average, just 3%. Well, that's quite a lot for the dollar, but still, getting above the 200 moving average on a daily would definitely be a sign of strength to the dollar, and it is strengthening. So while the world falls apart, at least the dollar is bulletproof for the moment. Maybe they're correlated. All right. BTC, USDT, Bitcoin versus Tether. I want to, on Bittrex. Uh, I wanted to do that. Let's actually look at BTC, USDT on Binance. Binance. There we go. On Binance. So, all right, MACD is really close to a negative cross. We shall see. Hopefully, that histogram will open up and the uh, MACD will get away from that signal. Um, we had that big dump, but you know, as you can as you can see, it does look like. There, there's maybe a positive direction there if we look at that you know maybe so not bad so let's hope that the uh indecisive red doge today will close green that would be wonderful and show some upwards momentum at least it does look like we're not continuing to dump 
but we definitely could see a dump even under 10,000. Really, on the daily, I watch this MACD. The closer we get to negative cross, the more day swing traders are going to start to jump out. All right, Bitcoin versus Tither. Don't know why everything switched over to, to uh, Bittrex. I want to go BTC, USDT on Binance. All right, on Binance. Well, uh, this is a, a four hour chart. The nice thing is, you know, at least we are seeing what I would consider some sideways action right now on the four hour chart that does match previous support and resistance. Uh, the directional index is crap, it's in the red, and the ADX uh, basically it is a 29. It's about 25, that's kind of a good sign. We definitely have room to start moving. Don't see any reason why this four hour chart is necessarily negative. I think it is showing support at a sideways uh, price point, but it is on the 200 moving average. I would love to see it hop up there and get above the 200 moving average, and especially maybe the 314 moving average there and start rocking again. If we get back above that 200 moving average on the four hour chart, that would be, well, be at about, uh, let's just say 11,000. Looking at the media price action of 45 minute chart, this is kind of a weird uh, thing that I found here. But we had a slight upwards trend going. I mean, it's a short time frame. I'm kind of pull, grabbing the wicks here. We had a bit of a short time frame upwards trend. We dumped below that earlier today. But if you look, we are kind of still following it. We shall see. ADX is crap. Directional index is crap. So basically, we are sideways. But at least it looks like we're finding some support. I mean, uh, on the short time frame, Bitcoin has been sideways for a little while. Not a bad deal. And it's kind of looks the same on the four hour chart. We're getting some sideways strength. So we shall see. Let's hope today maybe we can close on a green doji, on a green candle. That would be really, really nice. And let's get this MACD separating in a positive direction. Other than that, that's about it. So also I was looking at uh, Bitcoin gold. Well, it is definitely jumping up and down a good deal. But if we do look overall, it's a positive trend. And it's been flirting with getting over the 200 moving average here on the 45 minute chart. Directional index is crappy, ADX is crappy. But if we do look with the RSI, we are to a point where we could see a nice little upward swing happening. That's what I'm keeping an eye on. I personally don't want to trade it until it gets above the 200 moving average. But if you look at this uh, upwards momentum, we're seeing this arrow. Eventually, these two are going to meet. So that's what I'm watching. I'm not really a Bitcoin gold fan. I don't really care. I don't love any crypto except Bitcoin. I just use them all to make more Bitcoin. Um, EOS, where are you at? Here we go. EOS. Okay, so the 30 minute chart. Let's look at a 45 minute chart. One thing you can see right here, it is getting to the bottom of the RSI. It's definitely oversold at this point. ADX and DI look like crap. It's flirting with getting over that 200 moving average. It's working on it. Just one to watch if it starts to move. Like on the 30 minute chart, since we are crypto people, you can see it is actually flirting with and getting up and over that, that uh, 200 moving average. So on the uh, 45 minute chart, I do have an alert set for when this does go to the 200 moving average. Let's see what the market is doing. Looks like it could possibly be uh, a coin that begins to recover and could make you some Bitcoin when the alts start to, uh, it's definitely an alt that could maybe make some some money for us. Anyway, I can say, as always, not financial advice. This is just Bitcoin Daily View, daily view looking at Bitcoin, the uh, greater market in general. That's it. Boom. I'll see you tomorrow.